Hi, welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio. In this video, I'm going to go finish going over what I tried to start a while ago, but I totally screwed up. Uh, it might have been in one of my other videos. I listed that I was doing a thing about adding memory to my P53 when me like a dumbass, I did something stupid. My microphone was muted and there was nothing. And the only reason why I know it's working now is because the red light's solid and I see the graph bouncing up and down. So, so basically what it was, and let me switch over to this here. Now, as you can see, uh, this is the underside. And what happened was, is that if you have any Lenovo's and you want to put more memory in, if you're going to leave the memory that's in there, because they like to put two of the memory slots underneath the keyboard and two of the memory slots underneath the bottom of this. Uh, there were some older ones that I ran into at my old workplace where, if I remember correctly, I think they did, but then all of a sudden we started getting ones that where it was split. So instead of adding memory to here and here, what I did was that I removed the keyboard here and got to it here, which I'm going to do now. And my problem is I didn't, I don't know what I did with my tool kit or the one type. But this one from Harbor Freight, I mean, not Harbor Freight, um, Royal King will do just as well. There's Phillips I need. I need something to pry up. That'll work. Okay. So to get the keyboard off, you have to be very gentle and kind of pry up on these uh mouse keys cuz a you don't want to break them one i want to say you only, you should only have to do two but i could be wrong cuz i remember when i did it before i had to remove three but i'm going to try it with just two and see where that goes. And we need smaller Phillips to work. That Phillips ain't gonna work because I think that's I stripped that screw. See where ah get the smallest thinnest blade regular screwdriver and if you got any grooves left in the thing it'll work so what you got to do now is that you gotta push this back and I want to show you this so that way if you've never changed it in a Lenovo before you can like at least see basically how to do it, but you got to slide this back enough because you got to like lift this up to get it out. And I don't know how well this is going to work. Try not to break the keyboard as well, because I'd like to continue to use this. I mean, I haven't gotten it set up yet. Because, um, again, life and things. We were at Steel City Con uh, this, just this past weekend. And I've got a weird feeling that there's... A, no, there's not another screw here. 
Maybe if I can... I know I gotta get this to slide back. And some of these... Damn it. What I didn't want to do. My thumbnails and that are... are shit. Problem is, when you work on one side of the keyboard and then go to the other, it kind of moves this one back. Let's see if I can use both of these, maybe. I know I have this. I just got to get it up high enough. Like I said, I'm trying... There we go. I don't know why, but you have, apparently you have to lift this up to get it to slide back. Then once you get it back, you can take it, flip it over like this. Now where the memory sits here is underneath this metal cover. So with a Phillips screwdriver, and this one should work. Not that one, apparently. But this one works. You take the screw out of that, and then you lift this cover plate off. And then here's where the other two sticks of RAM sit. Okay, now I bought Rip Jaws from G Skill, and they're both 32 gig sticks of RAM. Now, I'm sure there's people out there going, well, why didn't you leave? what was in there in there well here's the thing at some point i am going to max this out to 128 gigs of ram and last i looked on it was either amazon or newegg one of the two or both um they're both relatively close to each other on price and they actually dropped since i bought these cuz i bought these at first uh through through Newegg, I mean through Amazon, because they were slightly cheaper than Newegg. So, so what you would do is you would pull the top one out, pull the second one out, then obviously put the new one in at an angle and then push it down. I'm not going to take it out because you'll see it with this one here when I put it back. So then once you do that, you kind of put the Mylar cover back on. Okay, so you take this other one, put it in, make sure you notate the notch because again this is for people that have never put ram in a laptop before especially this most other ones are simple you just take the cover off the two banks you, the the two slots are there uh leno especially this lenovo my 540 and my p50 or the w540 and my p51 i want to say they all have these multiple where it's two under the keyboard two under the bottom so once you get it pushed all the way in and you don't feel it sink down anymore, then push it down. And I don't think I have that in because I don't think it didn't click right in my opinion. Nope, it's all the way down. It's not moving. I'm just not used to this not like clicking and making a sound. Usually they the metal tabs that <coughs> excuse me, um, the metal tabs that hook into the memory i'm not used to them not making a, a firm click sound and this way when you do it this way and you replace these ones underneath with the memory okay then that way you don't have to worry about uh pulling it out again unless the memory goes bad which hopefully that doesn't happen and you got to make sure that these are because there's little tabs here on the edge of this, and you got to make sure that that's underneath as you pull it forward. And then once you get it set in like that, now it's back in place. And you take your screwdriver, and shit. This is what happens. I forgot to put the cover and the screw back on. Okay. As you can see, I'm human. I make mistakes. So you wedge the cover. Make sure you notice there's a little um, 
this little tab right here. Make sure it's up, not down. And there's a kind of a slot that it goes in here. So when you slot it underneath, and there's notches too, so you can you can basically only put it in one way. All right, now that it's in, slotted that way. Take the screw. Good thing I didn't get it all the way done and go, oh shit. <laughs> and then had to completely redo it. I, I I mean I still had to pull the keyboard off, but I didn't have to like take the screws loose. All right, tighten it down this time. So now that when the cover is back on, now you take it like that. Make sure you kind of push down where these are and somehow pull it forward. And then, as you can see, should all be in pretty good place. And this one, because this screw is a little messed up. I may look online, try to find a, uh, a replacement keyboard for this for the future, because I have a feeling that at some point in time, that thing's really going to be stripped and. Okay, so now it's back in place. And now we put the keys on. Now, these are easier than some of the laptop keyboard keys because for some reason, you got to watch like these ones because you can like snap those off. These ones here, you just give it a, a decent little press and they snap on. And they don't break tabs. Now, I'm not saying that they can't break, um, but these ones here, you got to hook them in the back. And popped out. Let's try that again. There we go. And as you can see, that's snapped into place. That one's in place. Same with this one. And I think this one here, it hooks in the front towards the, towards the touchpad because the back side, you press on it and it goes down. So, and I can, there should be enough juice, maybe. And we're entering setup. Okay, and as you can see right here, 65, 536 MB, which is 64 gigs. If you do the 1024, that's what it should be. So it is recognizing both sticks of RAM. Both sticks of RAM are functional. I'm not saying I still couldn't have memory errors because that can happen because this is just the bias saying, okay, how much memory is out there? Okay, you're telling me it's this much, but I could have bad memory cells and I could have all kinds of goofy problems. Um, there probably is a mem test of Lenovo's I could run. I don't know if it's in the, it used to be in the BIOS, but I think they've, like, removed that. Um, but, okay, and that's a very quick overview of the of installing memory on a Lenovo P53. Um, I did install two one terabyte NVIDIA 980 Pros in this. Uh, one's going to be the boot drive. One is going to be the uh, working drive for when I'm editing videos and everything. And here is a team group. I would, it's a two terabyte SSD. This is just for when I finalize the video and everything, create it. This is just basic storage. Um, it's not going to be used for anything. This is just for like housing data files, whether it's from applications in Windows or videos or anything of the kind. 
I do like uh the the since since I got the P fifty one and the P fifty three, uh I like the fact is that it has the two NVMEs. I like the P fifty three better than the P fifty one because the P fifty one you had to have these special caddies to put the NVMe drives in it. Uh luckily I was able to get all those pieces and the piece to connect uh this up. I think I had to track this one down. This one was a little harder to get, but I was still able to get it to put an SSD in here. Might be able to go a little higher. I don't know if you could put those like 9.5 millimeter hard drives in here and I'm not really going to try to find out cuz I I mean it'd be it'd be nice cuz of the 5 terabytes but we're we're also talking to spinning rust and all that stuff and it'll probably drain the battery uh a lot more all right so yes yeah, so that's a quick overview of how to add memory and then uh once i get another two sticks of 32 gig i'm going to put them in here and this will be maxed out now at 128 gigs of ram so, uh, as I always like to say, uh, if you have any co questions, comments, um, you know, leave them below in the thing. I'll try to answer them as best of my ability. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. It just depends. And uh, thinking about having maybe a um, maybe a live streaming event. Uh, not sure. It may come up at some point i doubt if it'll be this weekend because we got some stuff to do we got some family stuff and and some other things but maybe the following weekend um if if my wife doesn't uh come up with something but as i always like to say have a good day guys take care and see you next time